Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today, I want to talk about a company called Catalyst Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol CPRX. This small cap company has a lot of long-term potential, and they are fastly coming down to a buy area I've been watching, and I'm going to tell you all about this company in this video. Now, before I get to the video, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel and for hitting the like button on previous videos. I really appreciate you doing that. And if you are new to my channel, I like to find short-term and long-term trading and investing opportunities in typically lower-priced stocks. I like to find undervalued, underappreciated stocks with high growth potential, as well as all other things finance-related. Now, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe so you don't miss any future trading and investing ideas. And also, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before investing in this stock. Okay, first off, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. Then I'm going to explain what's in their product pipeline to show you how much potential this company has. And then we're going to get into the charts. And I'll show you a nice looking buy area if you're thinking about buying the stock. Or if you already own the stock, this could be a decent spot to add to your position if you wanted to. Catalyst Pharmaceuticals was founded in 2002, and they say they are dedicated to making a meaningful impact in the lives of those suffering from rare diseases. Patrick J. McEnany has been with the company since it started and has the title of co-founder, president, and CEO. From 1991 to 1997, he was chairman and CEO of Royce Laboratories, and when Royce Labs merged into Watson Pharmaceuticals, he served as president of the wholly owned Royce Labs subsidiary and vice president of corporate development for Watson Pharmaceuticals. From 1993 to 1997, he also served as vice chairman and director of the National Association of Pharmaceutical Manufacturers, so he has a wealth of knowledge in this field. Right here, I have their product pipeline pulled up, and as you can see, it's relatively small at the moment, but their treatment for Lambert-Eden Myasthenic Syndrome, or LEMS, has recently been approved, so that should start generating some decent revenue soon. Now, LEMS is a rare autoimmune disease that affects 1 in 100,000 people in the United States. The primary symptom is muscle weakness, which can lead to difficulty walking and climbing upstairs, but symptoms can be life-threatening when the weakness involves the respiratory muscles. When we look at the rest of the pipeline, we see the clinical trial for congenital myasthenic syndromes has been abandoned, at least for the time being, but their treatment for mus myasthenia gravis is in phase 3 at the moment, and their treatment for spinal muscular atrophy is in phase 2 right now. So there is some very nice potential if those two can make it through the approval process. Now, if I bring up their income statement on Yahoo Finance, you can see they have just recently gotten to profitability. In 2018, they only generated $500,000 in revenue, but ended the year with a loss of $34 million. But last year, they brought in $102 million of revenue, which led to $31 million in earnings. So as of right now, they're headed in the right direction. All right, right here I have the daily chart of Catalyst Pharmaceuticals pulled up. And as you can see, at the moment, we are mired in a pretty steep downtrend. Price has broken below this white line on the chart, which is the 8-period exponential moving average, and it can't seem to get back above it. Now, technically, I don't like to buy stocks until they break above that line and at least hold for a day or so. But if you don't have this line on your charts, you should definitely add it because this will definitely show you what trend the stock in is at the moment. If you go short a stock, you know you can stay in that short as long as it holds below that average and you'll be in good shape. And then when it breaks above, you can close that position out if you want. and Or if you want to go the other way, if you only want to buy long, when a stock breaks above that white line and starts to hold it, it can usually keep you in the trend for quite a while. And then when it breaks it, you know it's time to get out of that trade. But anyway, if we go to the weekly chart, I'll back it out a little bit here, you can see that we are still at the moment in an uptrend. But we are dangerously close to breaking it. But I'm thinking that we should find support a little under $3 a share. Because this support area goes back many, many years. And we also have that trend line there. 
So if I zoom back into the daily chart, I'll show you that support area that I'm thinking about uh, starting my position at. It looks like right about here, I'd like to see price come down a little bit farther. But this area right here looks like it could be an area where Catalyst Pharmaceuticals finds support and could start its next leg up. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to put an order in around the 270 to 280 area, maybe just a small starter position. And if it breaks above that white line on the chart and holds, I think I'm going to add to it and try to catch a momentum swing to the upside. Now, it looks like momentum is starting to dissipate to the downside, so it might not even make it down to my area. But if it does, that's the area that I feel comfortable starting the position. And hopefully we can get a bounce up and uh, make some quick money on this stock. Okay, well, that's the trade I'm looking at right now in CPRX. Now, it should take a few days to get down to that level if it even falls that far. So we have some time to think about it and see if it fits our risk parameters. Now, let me know in the comments section if you think this is a decent looking trade or if you think I'm way off on it. Also, let me know if you have any other insight on CPRX because I would love to know more about this company. If you could hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, take care, everybody.